The father with his student at Aurora Public Schools is confused and embarrassed tonight after being misidentified as a sex offender. And now more than a week after it happened, the district says it has since fixed the problem. But as Denver 7's Connor Wist reports, it's caused this parent and his family a whole lot of frustration. We use our IDs all the time. It has all the information on it so people know what our identity is. But for one dad, his ID was mistaken. When I walked out of the school, I felt like my whole world had been turned upside down. For Larry Mitchell, a misunderstanding left him embarrassed and frustrated in the front office of his son's middle school. I was told that I matched uh, up with a sex offender. He became a potential match for a registered sex offender in a nationwide database. I was just really lost and bewildered. I didn't know what to do. Under protocol, the school offered for Mitchell to have an escort around the school that day. But he wanted none of that. I know mistakes happen, but I really just feel like in the moment, there was a, no discretion at all about airing this out in front of people that spend the day with my son and then people whose children spend the day with my son. It's been more than a week since the mistake happened, and Mitchell says he still hasn't heard from the school since then. We took his question straight to the school district. Since then, we have determined that Mr. Mitchell is not on the National Sex Offender Registry. Uh, school staff have been notified of that, and uh, he would, would not be flagged as he came back into the school in the future. An inconvenience and an embarrassment. Mitchell says he hopes this comes with a learning lesson so that other people aren't mistaken at schools in the future. An apology and maybe some kind of assurance that there's some kind of a policy to uh, address mistakes or mix-ups uh, so that it doesn't happen to other people. In Aurora, I'm Connor Wist, Denver. Glad that was cleared up and our team double checked Mitchell's name on a registered sex offender database database for the Denver metro area. We did not find any results matching his name and personal information. <laughs>